みんな何の話をしているのかしら野球 What's going on, you two? My name is Adam Adis, and welcome back to some King Koi Golden Love Ridge. This is episode 25. If you've not seen episode 24, go ahead and watch it. It's a banger. It's always a banger. Bang her. Yeah, anyways,、uh, do you have anything to say? No. Let's get started. Yup. No, you this. So, I can't. Who asked her, dude? Who the freak asked her? I don't remember. I don't recall any of us asking her what she thought. Can we get her out of here? Yuck. Yuck. This is blasting. I have to turn it down a bit. Yup. I don't know if she's right. The one time I agree with her. Something's up her butt. It's not our PP. Yeah, do you use it? On the way back, I stopped to see Rio for the first time in a while and brought up this morning's conversation. That's wild. That's not the best hygiene, I suppose. Things had turned kind of awkward the last time I came here, but it seemed like she'd forgotten about what happened back then. And mood was the same as it ever was. That's a good hit. r e a blew the smoke from her cigarette and did it win. It's been pretty cold during the day, too. The temperature had dropped like a rock since quite a while ago. Slowly but surely, the wind had transformed into the winty swing. Wintery swing? Win winter s w i n I cannot read. You planning to stick it out here through winter, too? So. Huh. These little get togethers might fade away entirely, then. I might stop coming, as would Rhea. Would that affect our relationship, too? That thought made me feel a little lonely. That is the homie, after all. As always, Rhea climbed up to the top of the water tower. I joined her. The two of us quietly waited for the sun to set, for golden time. Yeah? Do I? Nope. In fact, I made a pretty nice memory out of it today. An indirect kiss with Big Bitty Ellie and Sylvie. <laughs> you really think I am? I don't know. I see. Ryo was so level headed. And she wasn't the type to intervene unless she had to. And so, while she didn't get involved, she was always watching me. That's the whole me. Thanks. Ah,、uh, um, for worrying about me? It's gross?、Oh, interesting. Don't call it gross. That hurt. うん。
And yet, I was happy. Interesting. Rhea is something else. I really... The only thing I'm looking forward to Rhea is... Or to Rhea's root, excuse me, is the way she's going to behave. Like, when they fall for each other. That's if they do, you know. We're just assuming that they will. Because, you know, typically when we think, oh, Rue, it's like, oh, a happy ending. Maybe they get together or whatever. And that's all we've seen so far. So, yeah. Anyways, the sun finally set. Oh, got down from the water tank. It was pretty cold. Better hurry home. Rhea was trying to make her way down and I cleared some space for her. Need a hand? Huh? We are friends. Isn't that the least I could do? I tried saying it in a joke manner. Joking manner. Rhea, however, looked positively ticked off. No, her foot slipped. Watch out. Watch out. You freaked me out. Since the water tank's ladder was only a couple of years old, its smooth, rusty texture made it a tad bit slippery. She had nearly fallen and I somehow caught her, which meant we'd avoided any major incident or injury. I caught her in my arms. Oh, I thought this was the rain here. What's going on? Dude's just going at it with every female in this route. Jesus. Sure. Just be careful next time. Hi, hi. Yours, obviously, idiot. Yeah. Ryo complained as she left my grasp. Ryo was quite small and didn't weigh much, and as that thought crossed my mind. Fump. Huh? Order. For some reason, Ria sat down in place. She was looking at her own left knee. Oh. <sighs> You hit it? <laughs> now that she mentioned it, I thought I heard some sort of low-pitched wham when she slipped. It looked like she'd hit her knee and was having trouble standing upright. Oh, man. <clears throat> Omi almost died by the water tank. What a dummy. How should I hold you, then? Given our height difference, I'd basically end up dragging you along behind me. Isn't that worse? The person on the receiving end of a piggyback ride has to straddle quite a bit. It's actually pretty risky with an injured knee. Oh yeah, that's something we did back in the common room with Sylvia. Good times, good times. You're light, so it's fine. <laughs> Ryo was acting kind of shy about it, which is fun to see. This was a pain, so better hurry up and carry her to the outside. I wanted to avoid being seen as well, so we headed out and were mindful of any prying eyes. Should I take you to a doctor? I'd carry you like this. She sounded on the verge of tears. Uh, a slight on exercise lately, so it'd be rough to run while holding someone. <laughs> she was so expressing her anger in an unusually fuzzy way. Probably the flip side of her embarrassment. That's nice. That's very nice. Spicy Ria. But when she yelled that loudly, No! Our base, huh? Oh. No. <laughs> Someone else who stayed late showed up. <laughs> she's so stupid. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> right. She's legal. Legal, I tell you. Delinquent student who got suspended from smoking, Soma Ria, was relatively famous to some. Uh, don't get the wrong idea. We are friends, but we're not doing this for fun. Her leg's injured. 
うんうん友達だから足を痛めてるのを放っておけずにかなるほど理解したでもお姫様抱っこするかよ Why do you ask me now? Circumstances called for it. Kono timing with the Jinse Hajimeto Moto Shinita. Ryo was heartbroken. Oh, well, I knew Ryo wouldn't thoughtlessly spread rumors. We headed to the dorm together. Very nice. I stealthily lugged her to the dormitory. You got no cry, Camillo. I do it. Ira night. いいからいいからお姉さんに任せなさいあオーロはアウトねちょっと卑猥な診察するから<笑>何する気だ I'll leave it to you then Ria, call me if she does anything weird I can't say I'll come help but I love to listen <笑>何する気だ<笑> The two women disappeared into Ria's dorm room I retreated to my own room and changed clothes ちょうわっどこ触ってんだこら触らなきゃ診察できないでしょおほお客さんいいお尻してますな<笑>なんでケツから言ってんだ膝だよ膝痛いのはうーん膝<笑>あーこれは強く打ってるねもうちょっとしっかり見ないとやあなんで脱がす<笑>なんだかお隣が騒がしいですわね<笑> Why are you here? You know, I think love between women is a very beautiful thing. Huh? It is fleeting, though. Once you give it a name, it becomes a sort of lukewarm lesbian affair you could find both anywhere and nowhere. Huh? A girl who gets carried away easily and a genuine misanthrope? I think that when two beautiful ladies like that flirt in a completely humdrum situation, it's as close as to a completely innocent female romance as it gets. I like to treasure moments like those. <laughs> After I spent a short while enjoying the voices I could hear from next door. An extraordinarily enraged shout came from the next room over. A short while later. Welcome back. How'd it go? せっかくリアちゃんと仲良くなれそうでかつあの難攻不落の不良ちゃんが好きだらけだからケツの一つも悶どこと思ったのにケツを悶んだ時点で仲良くはなれませんでしょうけどセラスリーおいだされちゃった
Man, I forget that this room, he doesn't know who Reyna actually, or Rhea actually is. And then Rhea avoids Sylvia. That's so, uh, I don't like that. This is why I want to think that the true end is Sylvia's room. But hey, we'll see. We'll see what happens in, by the end of this series. And all, after all the roots are done. Hi. In that respect, should be fine since Reyna was considered of people's boundaries. Uh そういえば私とオロニーは来たけど、あやかちにはちゃんと伝えたのかな。うん。あ、なだちゅうメンションね。なんかそれ以前に、あやかちとリアちゃんって仲良かったんだね。いや、ディティンクデアクロース。ジョ
近づかないそれだけ守ってくれれば She said her piece without taking any feedback like usual and turned away もしあの子にソーマに手を出すなら許さないから庶民とか関係なく消すから She left with that less than pleasant remark. You have nothing to worry about with me and Rhea. Besides, whatever happened between you two is entirely up to Rhea. I was sure that was meant as a threat, but it didn't bother me. I was surprised by her relationship with Rhea, but it had nothing to do with us and our friendship. More importantly, I got out of my cell phone. I got out of my cell phone. I got out my cell phone. Beep, boop, bop. <clears throat> A friend from middle school. Hello? Nagato? Yeah, my time to talk. I know this is sudden, but you should be careful when taking any dimly lit streets at night from now on. Yeah, that's fair to warn him. Your memory is surprisingly ridiculous, Sobe. That was something I'd suspected for a while now. Hmm. Now that I had come to this, it had started to seem unfair that Sylvie was the only one who didn't know about Rhea. Maybe I should try and ask Rhea about this again later. Not that I would say anything if she absolutely insisted on keeping it a secret. The time we spent together in the past is completely irrelevant to how we became such good friends. Mm -hmm. Nice. I love the sound of that. <laughs> hmm. She wasn't taking me seriously. I didn't disagree with that assessment, but still. A whole bunch had happened since yesterday. Um, what was there again? The bathhouse incident, which led into the Hamanan baseball club discussion, and all this stuff about the relationship between Rhea and Reina. The one thing they all shared in common. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 what the freak? Did that question really throw him off like that? No way. <coughs> oh no, I definitely. <gasps> <laughs> Was that Reina had heard all of it? Wait, what? Was that Reina had heard all of it? She was discerning of even the slightest change in expression. I don't get it. Nah. Reina, what the freak, bro? Okay. She cut the conversation short with her usual flippant attitude. This girl. She was a good person, didn't recklessly stick her nose into other people's business, but she could be pretty thoughtless sometimes. You're sharp as ever. <laughs> she had apparently noticed my expression when they were talking about the Hamanan baseball club yesterday. Even had to admit that I had a sour look on my face at the time. Really? Something that never happened. Please. I want to continue being friends with you, but I'll have to use that power if you try to dredge up my past. It's in accordance with my contract, of course. Drop it. That's also part of the past. Reina played along with our delusional jokes. As always, Reina was adeptly considerate and a huge lifesaver. 
And as far as I was concerned, this was done and over with. Careful, Reyna. It was a part of my life I didn't want to remember. But I hadn't yet realized at this point that I had already made one massive mistake. The lid on my past that should have been tightly shut had already been partially opened. Ooh, I like that little cliffhanger. But it's not a cliffhanger because we're still going on. <laughs> so what it's looking like is that he's going to have to confront his past anyways in this route as well. Just like in the first freaking uh, route. <sighs> Interesting. This is an issue every year, but doesn't it feel like the temperature shifts like crazy going from November into December? Yeah, exactly. November is cold and sunny, while December is chilly and cloudy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it doesn't change that rapidly, but December always felt kind of gloomy. Makes sense. Either way, the whole month gives off this cold, wintry vibe. And, it's not, and that's not just from the temperature dropping like a rock. It was now December 2nd, which marked the beginning of this frigid month. No, I don't like that. If Reyna gets a stupidly short route like... Uh, like, uh, Suz no, not Suzune. I forgot her name. Back from Cafe Stella, the girl with the pink hair. I forgot her name, but she gets. Reyna gets a short route just like that pink haired girl from Cafe Stella. I'm gonna be very, very salty. Six in the morning sure is rough. The sun hadn't even come out yet. The sky was a dark shade of violet. It didn't have that morning feel to it yet. <laughs> Nah, the sun really is necessary to call it morning. Morning without the sun isn't morning at all. Point being, it's not morning yet, which means it's still nighttime and I should still be in bed. Snoring sounds. Akuna chan, you're always so full of energy. Yeah, fiery for sure. With that, they proceeded to drag me out of bed whether I liked it or not. And when I waited for the sun to come out as we danced around in the cold... Yeah... I used up all my energy this morning. Oh. I wish I could at least rest on the weekends. Today was Saturday. As slight as it was, even Mina-chan was less heavy-handed about etiquette on days off, but... <laughs> I do think it's great how spirited you are. Only because there were a few people with so much excess energy. She was one of them. That was when Reina came down. Well, this is rare. Certain someone who normally sleeps until noon on her days off is awake. She touched the nape of Akane-chan's neck without warning. <laughs> ビックリした。顔を洗う時さ、給湯器の調子が悪くて全然あったかいの出てこなくて、冷たい水で熱い。いやあ。逃げるな。次はその抜く抜くそばのお腹を触らせるのだ。ヘルプミー。Maybe I
でも夏とかは水ぶっかけてやると喜んでるから水属性には強そう We took a cold but strong to water She'd be an annoying enemy if this were an RPG あの二属性ってなんで分かれてるのか分かんないよね<笑> And wait, she splashed her underclassmen in summer? I didn't realize you two were so close だねはい、例の先輩は頼りになる先輩ですと言っても例の先輩の場合自分が特別というより寮の人間全員と親しいですけど That's a lot of people それもそっか Not only was she popular with her own classmates, but students in other grades as well. でもやっぱりアカネチンとは特別仲いい気がするな<笑>おいでお姉さまが可愛がってあげるせ、先輩アカネチン blushed and approached Reina as she beckoned her over. You're really gonna trust her again? Plop. <laughs> Reina really did get along well with everyone. It did seem like she favored individuals with more animated reactions and kept them close at hand. Reina is such a bozo, bro. The five events of track and field. Conversation led to the three of us, Akana Chan included, hanging out for the day. Nandake, Rikujo, Te, Nanashu, Daka, Hashu, Daka, Te, Sono, Zembu, Nideru, Keno, Yatsu, Sore, No, Kai, Ban, Desne, Matashi, Tankyori, Ga, Semmon, De, Yatte, Run, Deske, Do, Oka, No, Kyogi, Ni, Mo, Te, Te, Minai, Ka, Te, Y, Ware, Te, Te. I just realized this is the first, wait, no, probably not the first time, but we, and if it is, this is a really nice background. We haven't seen this. Oh, it looks so nice. But I kind of feel like we've seen it before. But it's just been a very, very, very few times. Or maybe this is new. I don't know. But this looks nice. I like the background. The art in these visual novels, man, they're just so nice. <clears throat> Shop, but. <laughs> Akuna chan did have a rather small frame. You just want to give them all a try, right? This was just my guess, but I bet they were shorthanded in the other events and wanted to bolster the ranks. With that, we headed for the track. Incidentally, if you wondered about Akane chan's skill level, Why does she go here whenever she runs? She's willing away her stamina for no reason, though. She may have had the stamina, but wasn't pacing herself very well. I can imagine really was a clumsy girl. Next, 
<laughs> She's doing all of that. Yeah. And then... Oh no. Slam, 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 slam. いずれに全部蹴り倒すんじゃ論外かな。続いて走り幅跳び。とりゃあ。どう。お、いけない。尻餅ついちゃう。ここで後ろに倒れたりしたら、そんなの付き合ってくださってる先輩たちに顔向け
She's so goofy, bro. Oh, hello, Verna. With that, we waited for Akun and Chan to settle down after her pain to dissipate. Oh, come on, track girl. There, there. I wouldn't so much call her talentless, says Clumsy. What should I do now that she's so upset? With that thought in mind, Reina picked up the rubber ball. Reyna listened intently to Akane-chan's explanation. Thank you. Oh boy. Naughty. What? Reyna, chill. For as down as Akuna-chan had been, he hadn't taken much to distract her. Good going, Reina. Her knack for showing consideration for others had saved me plenty of times, too. Now that she learned how to do it, Raina tried her luck at the shop hut. Oh, nice form. She was the clever type. Plop. I've got no clue in terms of rubber shop hoods. <coughs> I personally didn't think it was half bad. Me? I had been lounging around this whole time, so why not? Headed over to the line. <laughs> I gave it a throw. Ah, but it was no good. I didn't even know how to throw it and aimed a little too high. The ball just flew up into the sky without covering any distance. Still though, I wouldn't throw like the sort of klutz, klutz who's a concentrated mass of all the klutzes in the world. An unparalleled demigod of klutzes throughout all space and time, which also shot put straight back into their own head. <laughs> <laughs> Fell quite close to where the last one landed. I should have checked my form first. Can't believe I threw it as far as a girl. Definitely a questionable distance. It did land a tiny bit past Reyna's for the record, but it was surprising how close they were. Reyna measured the distance for us. How'd I do? You gotta be kidding me. Raina had a race where my ball had landed with her foot. You're more petty than I thought. Well, sorry about that. We're doing it again? It appeared Reyna wasn't at all satisfied by the results. May as well play along. I fetched the ball. Reyna took her position at the line. Say. But her form was different from the last time. No! Swoosh. Flew like crazy. The ball steadily bridged the distance, coming down in a ways past where our throws had landed earlier. But... You totally just threw it like normal. Just because it was a rubber ball, she grabbed and hurled it like it was a baseball. You wouldn't clear any distance that way with a real shot butt, which proved how poor her form was and defeated the entire purpose of the exercise. 
記録21メートルどやー投げ方はともかくかなり飛ばしますね。Your reflexes are the real deal. A 15 meter throw was a decent average in girls softball, so that was certainly an excellent score. はい、お次はオーロさん。方眼ですよ。ちゃんと投げてくださいよ。Why you? Since she broke the rules, it'd probably be cool if I played fair and square now and broke her score. But it would obviously be impossible for me, that, impossible for me to hit 21 centimeters, centimeters meters if I threw it the correct way. She lets me no choice. I took the ball and stood in line. This called for clinch. Clenched his cheeks. I gripped her hard. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Like you're one to talk. Hmm. Well, this puts us on equal footing. Shallow victory would probably be boring. But. Ah! Oh, I used my shoulders to catapult the pitch a long throw at full force. I hadn't done this in forever, and my shoulder ached a little. But it went the distance just like I had in the past. Crash. The ball crashed into the fence and bounced back our direction. That's how it should be. I could eyeball the distance from here to the fence at 70 meters at least. Hmm. <laughs> Given just how badly she had lost, Raina just kept gnashing her teeth in frustration, unable to complain about broken rules or otherwise. There are times a man must win no matter what. This was one of those times. Raina smiled wryly, but after taking another look at the distance, her smile stiffened a bit. Guess I was no surprise she figured me out. The average distance a man could throw a softball was around 30 meters. My score was a sort only a guy who knew how to pitch could produce. More or less. Petroleum jelly was commonly used in sports clubs, but the baseball club in particular consumed it like crazy. It wasn't worth keeping it a secret anymore, and they finally spilled the beans. Yes, there weren't all that many things to hide from right now. You're gonna do it? She's right, Akane-chan. It could cause irreversible damage depending on what you'd hit. <laughs> After this and that happened, not only did we try to shop, but we jumped over hurdles and simply ran with Akane-chan around the track. We had a full, healthy day. That sounds nice. わあ、なんかもう日暮れてきてない。あ、本当ですね。空が私色です。いや、小学生でもないのに一日中外で遊ぶとかやろうと思えばできるね。Yeah. The whole day felt like the sort of day off you'd have as an elementary schooler out in sticks. It had been fun, but isn't it about time we call it a day? It's starting to get cold anyway. だね。カラスがなくから帰りましょうって時間だわ。あかねちゃん、あかねちん。空がもうこんな色になっているよ。私色ですね。れ、レナ先輩。いつも優しい市松先輩が、もでも見るような。Is it fun for you to tease your underclassmen? Not good. She was teary eyed. Better put on. Oh, wait a minute. The good. The good. I need to look at the gun. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Alright. Reyna. Reyna, what do I do, Reyna? Reyna. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. 
Uh, it, sh it is totally your color. Now I get it. The kanji in your name means matter red, and the sky is the same color. That certainly would make it Akane chan's color, huh? Uh, hi! <laughs> your total laugh, riot. riot. Akane chan. Wahaha. <laughs> Why is he laughing so much? I'm, 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 I am uh, concerned. <laughs> Wow, you're such a fun girl. It's your color because it's matter red. <laughs> uh, hi. What are you doing? Why is he LOLing so much? <laughs> hmm. You've got it all wrong. Uh. <laughs> We seem to have surmised the g just guessed what was going just of what was going on and hid in the school building without another word. <sighs> She's not that bad. Hmm. Yeah. Akina chan had turned timid. That's how it was. I'm guessing you're scared of delinquents. She was trembling. These were likely the honest feelings the average students had for Ria. I had no intention of sticking up for her. Well, it's true she wouldn't go as far as to be violent. She was definitely still a brutal, scary person. But yeah, this was definitely how it was. Not the type that was likely to get along with Jogasaki. I said goodbye to Akane chan and Reina, then followed after Ria. But. Hmm, well. Yeah. Revenge for what? Well, I guess. Reina seemed the one to talk to her too, and ended up, and ended up tagging along. This really put me on the spot. I knew where Ria was. However, I promised to keep that spot on the rooftop a secret. Oh. I would obviously be breaking that promise if I brought Reyna with me. What should I do? Don't make me choose, please. Please don't make me choose. Well, I worried about that. Ria popped out from a nearby restroom. Hey. She seemed to immediately piece together my predicament and shrugged her shoulders, seeming exasperated. Then she started up the conversation here now. We reflexed and stretched the leg that had been injured. Yeah, like, I love Ruena, but why? Why does she care? Sounded like she was in an awful mood today and was acting relatively hostile. She snapped at Reyna, who was moderately kind, rather excessively. Ooh. It obviously wasn't as if Reyna didn't understand. She had a slightly dejected look on her face. God damn <laughs> Ria seemed irritable and her mood was worsening by the second to Arena. It was as lighthearted as could be. The mood was awful and spelled trouble. Maybe I should step in? I considered it, but then. Demo! <laughs> どっちの足かも忘れてんじゃねえか。どこが心配してんだ。まあいいや、触りたいだけだから。ほれほれほれ。やめろ、こら。うわ。えっと。ああ、たく。うん。暴れても平気なくらいには回復してるね。レイナカ
<笑>うざい上等こっちはうざさで損したことないもんね。Rena laughed it off. <laughs> Didn't look like there was any need for me to step in. Rena's whimsical nature had drawn Rhea in before she knew what had happened. Rhea could have ignored her and left, but I ended up chatting with her instead. She was angry, but had a fun time talking. Come to think of it, Rena was the best in her class at making friends. No matter how difficult the person was, she never made any critical errors. Wow, look at that. I thought it was about to be bloody. <sighs> But I have to end it there. The timer went off. I'm so sad. Man. Don't worry, Reyna. We'll be back. We'll be back very soon. I'm so sad. This was a really. I had a really fun time in this episode. I thought this, I thought this was a really fun episode. While Reyna was part of a lot of what happened in this episode, I like how it was still kind of focusing on other stuff. Like, for example, we saw Reyna with Akane and Oro. They were pretty much working out. And then they went to talk with Rhea. And she was part of it as well. But, like, it wasn't just strictly about Reyna, you know? But now it just goes back to me. Thinking, okay, how the heck are they doing this whole route now with Reyna? You know, like, I just can't help but wonder, like, how, I wonder how it's gonna go down now, you know? Because if they're already in December, and I'm assuming that the route would end somewhere around Christmas, presumably, you know, because of the previous route, then it makes me wonder, huh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Because on Sylvia's route, you know, they had like this whole thing where. They got together and then they had this whole thing. They had the, all these events that were coming up and they were getting ready for and stuff. Like, for example, at the at the very end of Sylvia's route, it was the house party and Maria Bishop attending the house party thing. So now I'm like, hmm, I just wonder how it's going to end, you know? Or what the plan is with Reyna. Because I just, I don't know what to expect. They've been showing us the way Reyna acts. You know, we saw. Reyna's passionate side. We've seen Reyna being annoying. We saw Reyna being caring. I thought this episode was really fun. I haven't chuckled like that at a visual novel in a bit. I think it's been a bit for sure. But that does not mean it's not good or it's not fun or whatever. What I am simply saying though is that this episode in particular was very fun or funny for me. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of King Koi. If you did, please let me know by hitting that like. It really helps my self esteem. And comment anything. <laughs> and if you want to see any visual novels please let me know in the comment section below and lastly if you have not subscribed please do that if you haven't already done so share this video share this channel let's get a thousand subscribers yeah great i'm out of here i'll see you guys in the next episode as always y'all stay safe as always until next time guys